Let me now explain to you the difference between these two functions. So we have the get amounts out function that we already used in our contract. And then we also have the get amounts in function. You see that this one takes uh, an argument called amount in and this one takes an argument called amount out. In a short way, here you know how much you want to send. That's why it's called the amount in. So the amount in that we are sending. And for this function, you call it when you don't know how much you want to send, but you do know how much you want to receive. Let's go further with the explanation. So for the get amounts out function, given an amount in value of path zero token. So when you, when you specify a value here, you're referring that you are sending this value of the first token from the array. This function will tell us how many path one tokens we receive. So how much of the second token from the array we receive. Then for the get amount in function, given an amount out value of path one token. So the value that you specify here is related to the second token from the array. This function will tell us how many path zero tokens we receive. An example for the get amounts out function will be this one. If I want to send 100 BNB for some cake tokens. So basically I want to swap BNB for cake and I know how much BNB I want to send. Here I want to swap some BNB for an exact amount of cake. So I know that I need 7368 cake but I don't know how much BNB should I send to receive this amount. So here the get amounts in function will be called so that we can see how much BNB do we need to send. For the get amounts out function, if we specify 100 BNB as the amount in and our path array is made of BNB as the first token and cake as the second token, then the function will return this array, so the amounts array. The first element will be 100 and this is 100 wrap BNB, so how much we send. And the second element will be 7638 cake so the second element will show how much cake we receive then in the get amounts in function if we specify that the amount out argument is this number of cake and the path array will be made by wrap bnb being the first element and cake being the second element then the function will return the same thing we return 100 bnb and this number of cake. Even though they are returning the same thing, we are giving the function different values because here you are providing it a value of 100, which is the amount in, because you know how much BNB you want to send. You want to send 100 BNB. And here you are providing the amount of cake because you don't know how much BNB you need to send. Basically, we could use only one function. So for example, we could use only the get amounts in function and reverse the elements from the path, but we do have these two functions from both cases, so we don't need to reverse anything. A pancake swap example of these two functions will be if a user comes to the pancake swap UI and he has two tokens. Here I have weave and cake. So let's say for the first case that I want to swap weave for some cake tokens. What I will do is go here, type an exact amount of weave that I want to send. So I want to send 100 weave tokens and then the get amounts out function is being run and it calculated that the amount of token out that I will get is this one right here. For the second case, the user will go on the second input, so on the cake input, and he will type 100 here. And now the get amounts in function is being used because the user typed the exact amount that he wants to get. And for that exact amount of token out, the app needs to calculate how much amount in, so how much amount of weave the user has to send. When the user goes and types in the first input case, this is a swap exact for tokens function. And when the user goes and types in the second input here, this is a swap tokens for exact amount because you're swapping a calculated amount of tokens for an exact amount of token out that you provided. 